Clear for dispatch. Enjoy your ride. Wave, Connor. Say bye. I see you in the hallway. I see you on the stairs. He points at me and giggles when he passes on the stairs. This is my first time riding the jackrabbit. I've been on it at least well, it's four or five times, yeah. Yeah, I was in his sight. He looked me in the eye and said, we're gonna have a fight at nine o'clock. An historic ride here at Kennywood. It's one of the first roller coasters here. It's also one of the oldest roller coasters in the world. But all my friends are telling me I gotta be a man at nine o'clock. That was my first real big kid roller coaster. This is my favorite ride on planet Earth in my favorite park on planet Earth. The Jackrabbit is also an unlikely inspiration for Josh Verbanitz. He's a singer-songwriter and one half of the Pittsburgh duo known as the Josh and Gab Show. We go into schools, we go to fairs and festivals and churches and camps, and we do a, a bullying awareness program, a rock and roll comedy show for kids all over Western Pennsylvania. With music, you have a tendency to remember songs, remember lyrics, so that way we put our anti-bully agenda in our music. We really wanted to have a local connection to the kids. We were performing in front of elementary kids, middle school kids, and my entire life I had really uh, idolized the Jackrabbit. And generations of children have felt the same. If you grew up anywhere near Pittsburgh, the Jackrabbit was a rite of passage. It opened in 1920, and while of course we think of it now as an old classic, when it opened, it was really a trendsetter and revolutionary in a lot of ways. I feel like I'm gonna have a lot of fun. Well, the Jackrabbit was one of the first to also have a third set of wheels on the bottom of the track. What that allowed the Jackrabbit to do is to go down steeper hills, pick up higher speed, and make sharper turns. And of course, that's what's enabled it to hold up so well today. This is a great ride. I'm, it, it's especially the second dip where it seems like it, it comes off the track a little bit. You go down that hill, you level out for a split second, and you go down again, you feel like you're gonna fly out of your seat. You feel like you're in midair and you jump the uh, track. It actually comes off the ground and actually lands perfectly. It's a ride that you can stay, you know, your parents, your grandparents, maybe even your great-grandparents have ridden it. Josh rode it too, but his memories aren't only about being on the coaster. They're about what happened behind it. I see him in the hallway, I see him at his stairs. I had said to Josh, we need another like hard rock and roll song. The kids are really responding to rock and roll. And I said, didn't you have like an interesting story about Kennywood and the Jackrabbit? When Josh was in middle school, a classmate challenged his best friend to a fight. They agreed to meet behind the Jackrabbit. So we started imagining a song where our protagonist, the singer of the song, would be at Kennywood Park for a school picnic day and would be engaged in conflict. Decades later, he turned a traumatic childhood experience into a positive message. The song climaxes behind the jackrabbit where they are about to have a fight but instead realize that they have much more in common than they ever imagined. Nine o'clock, nine o'clock behind the jackrabbit. At nine o'clock behind the jackrabbit. As for the fight behind the jackrabbit, it never happened. The boys worked it out and the bully became a friend. And we've been teaming up with this great Pittsburgh-based foundation. The Marcus L. Recito Charitable Foundation has an important agenda, educating kids and parents on the impact of bullying. And they provide grants to bring in our Josh and Gab show and let the kids have a really, really good time. On this day, Josh and Gab filmed a public service announcement, and the venue couldn't have been more appropriate for Josh. And we thought it would just be this big solidarity message tying into a local icon. See the park, you know, even loosely indirectly involved in a message that's positive towards compassion and kindness towards others is, is very important. The greatest thing that ever happened to us. We've always, always wanted to do this. This is awesome. If you come to Kennywood, you gotta ride the Jackrabbit.